This is Gary Butterfield. This is Cole Ross. And this is Monster My Podcast. And this is Han. There's a monster in my podcast. Well, I love Han. Han is Dark good. Han. Yeah, there, this is phenomenal. There's a lot about Han that seems like it's going to be a real straight putt. Yep. Uh, mentions Yig, and I immediately, yeah, no, no, don't care yep. for that. But well, the, and just anytime you're mentoring in another god, yes. any connections between these gods is to be suspect. Yes. I think. Uh, it, it has it has Durlith stink on it when that happens. Yep. However, yep. Um, I think the articulation, the articulation of, of, of Han uh, is, is where he shines. Yeah. Han is cool. Yes. Uh, Han, one of the coolest things that these monsters and gods can do is appear. Mm-hmm. You know, we talked about that, like how they actually arrive. Yeah, like with Synathoglis, the the, yes. the sepulchre god or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know, so this guy, uh, a big cold fog rolls in. Mm-hmm. And you see shapes moving throughout the fog. Yes. Uh, but you're not sure what they are. Um, everyone hears this like moaning uh, in, in the fog. Mm-hmm. Uh, this, this phantom wind. And then you can see this gigantic cloaked figure with a skeleton or jack-o'-lantern face. <laughs> yes. I love it. Unholy yeah. fire burning in its empty eyes, nose, and wide, jagged mouth. Yep. Um, as he moves, I'm just going to read this because it's so good. As he, as Han moves, bits of its cloak fall off, taking the shape of bat, uh, bat-like and serpentine shadows that fly or slither off into the night, carrying with them nightmares. Yes. Yeah. Please. Yeah. What, what does that mean? I don't care. <laughs> uh, and if, if Han, if you get on ba- Han's bad side, uh huh. No great shakes. No. Like, it's, it's fine. He touches you, and you kind of rot. Yeah. Uh, in the fog like it's pretty cool this really horrific experience mm-hmm. of being trapped in this like fog you can't see through yeah with well, this figure stalking it, you it's a it's a it's a i mean it is a 50 foot radius of fog it's a yard oh yeah yeah 50 yards so yeah. Yeah. um and uh everybody who is within it basically loses their mind going yeah. into a frenzy seeing all kinds of hallucinations or sometimes losing all of their senses and basically yep. where we, you know when he appears this is a chance for the party to rip themselves apart uh, yes. and the murder shoot, frenzy that he will inspire 50 percent chance of killing your friends instead of han right um really phenomenal mm-hmm. uh and he you know he rots you away it's very scary yes uh you know but mostly about the presentation mm-hmm. you know uh the cool thing though the the winning move here is to worship han yes because then you get the cooler side of this, <laughs> uh, where it allows you to divine the future. The way it makes it sound is like you can do it basically at will. Mm-hmm. Uh, every time you do, you lose one sanity. But in a Wishmaster reporting for duty sense, every time it is something like dreadful. Yes. What a cool idea that you can only you can see see the future, but only the bad things that happen in the future. Mm-hmm. What a fucked up like way to torture somebody. Yeah, <laughs> there's you a know? there's a really good uh, uh, short short story in Callahan's. Um, that is exactly that where one person has five sight and, uh, oh, yeah. they, they can only see disasters and uh, whenever they try to do it, to avert them, they always make them worse. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like very scary, <laughs> but, but I love like you can do it at will. You always see something at a certain point. I would start thinking that he is messing with probability to make terrible things happen. Oh, I mean, I don't, I don't think so. I think enough terrible things happen in anyone's life. No, but true, whole, true. You know, like there's just always terrible stuff. Yeah. No, you know, um, unending, you know, string of disasters in front of us. Mm-hmm. Um, the, things don't uh, always get better. Yeah. You know, and, and even some things get better, but there's always, there's enough things mm-hmm. that something will always be worse. Um, so whenever this happens, you'll, you know, when you see a loved one die, uh, you lose sanity. When you see your own death, uh, you lose sanity. That makes me think of the Cyclopses and Crawl. Mm-hmm. who could see the future but only seen their own death right which are great um and then eventually uh if you lose all of your sanity you go blind and deaf and the only things you can see and hear mm-hmm. are predictions of horrible things happening in the future God, i love it it's amazing like yeah. imagine being trapped in that you have no senses <laughs> and if you try to reach out all you can see are horrible things that happen in the future mm-hmm. super great yeah um i, I would blind myself <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I, I would like try to, I would do uh, X, the X, the, the man with X-ray eyes. I would rip my own Wait, eyes out. Yeah, you're blind. You're blind in the first place. Yeah, but I would happened. still, I would still try and take him out. <laughs> you, you might, you might try, but it's, it's happening directly at your head. Ah, maybe. You're fucked at I don't that know. point. Yeah, I gotta try maybe, something. Like you're blind. Like taking your eyes out isn't gonna do, isn't gonna stop you from having these visions. I don't know because you're already blind. Yeah, maybe. That's just kind of your <laughs> you opinion. You want to roll the dice on this one, Cole? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do I have to lose? <laughs> not well, you could you could you could not get into this situation well yeah but i mean if i'm there i don't know yeah i i think that the, i think that the throwing yourself off a bridge or something yeah is yeah. probably I, the I, I mean, I, like i'm not like i'm not really great at like surgery or anything i'd probably die 
uh, yeah, when I took the eyes wrong. out. Yeah, no, I mean, it wouldn't be great, but. Well, well, how much money would someone have to give you to try to take your eyes out at home? <laughs> <laughs> at home? Yeah. Like, there's the stuff you have around your house right now. I don't know. I and mean, a little like, bit more. give away this money, too. So it's not just enough, like, if the, the amount is, like, enough for you to live and that's not enough. Right. Like, think about, you know, fixing the water in Flint and stuff. But you have to try to remove your eyes at home with stuff you have around the house. Okay. I mean, so that would be, as opposed to going to, like, a facility. So was it one eye or two? Uh, both. Both? Okay. As yep. opposed to going to to a facility that has, like. An like or something. Yeah. <laughs> Right, as opposed to going to an Arby's. Um, I don't know. I like seeing quite a bit. Hmm. It's pretty cool. No, and what and what you're and what you're setting up is anything that I say that is not. I take one dollar and send it to Flint. Makes me into a monster. So yep. yeah, what you've done. Who's the Han now? <laughs> Brought to you by our backers at patreon.com slash duckfeedtv. 